Hello and welcome back to another week of Weather or Not Podcast. I'm your host, meteorologist Scott Sumner, sponsored by Ford. With the middle of summer in full view, daily temperatures increasing and higher humidity levels seemingly each day, I wanted to clear up some confusion when it comes to terms relative humidity and dew point temperature. When showing the current conditions, daily meteorologists usually have these items on the map, as you can see here. We have, uh, we have wind, we have temperature, we have dew point, and we have a pressure as well as humidity levels. Now, over the many years that I have been showing these parameters, there is always confusion into what the dew point means and how that relates to relative humidity. Basically, both relative humidity and dew point measure how much water vapor is in the air. However, dew point is simply a measure of how much moisture is in the air at a given time, and relative humidity is the ratio between the temperature and the dew point temperature. The higher the dew point number, the greater the amount of moisture is in the air. Following? All right, here we go. Now, this directly affects how comfortable it will feel outside, as seen by this heat index chart. The higher the relative humidity percentage and air temperatures, the more you sweat. But many times, relative humidity can be misleading. For example, a temperature of 30 degrees and a dew point of 30 degrees will give you a relative humidity of 100%. But a temperature of 80 degrees and a dew point of 60 degrees produces a relative humidity of roughly around 50%. It would feel much more humid on the 80 degree day with 50% relative humidity than on the 30 degree day with 100% relative humidity. This is because of the higher dew point number. As you can see from these examples, the closer the temperature is to the dew point, the higher the relative humidity. The farther apart they are, the lower the relative humidity. All right, I think you got this. Looking specifically at the dew point temperature, the general rule of thumb is that the dew points in the 50s or lower is very comfortable during the warm summer months. Once the dew point gets between 60 to 65 degrees, well, it certainly at that point feels sticky or humid. Dew points above 65 degrees are downright muggy and even tropical when they reach the 70s, as noted by that chart there. Now, at night, when the dew point is in the 40s and temperatures are in the 40s, the relative humidity is basically at 100%, and it may actually kind of feel damp to you at this point, and you could have some patchy fog building in with 100% saturation, and your lawn actually may actually have some dew on it as, as well. Now, we've also had days where the air and the dew point temperatures around 70 degrees, and it would tend to feel damp, but not as muggy. Well, both relative humidity and dew point are important numbers to look at, but the dew point temperature is the most useful number. Bottom line, once again, the higher the dew point, the more you will perspire like this gentleman here. In the meantime, God bless, stay cool, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.